And now it's Walker on the penalty and he will actually miss it. Yes. <laughs> we have made it to the next round of the Champions League, boys. If you need coins, go ahead and use the code in the description below. It is Johnny for FIFA Coin Zone. And also, if you want to play for some real money, go ahead and click the link for GamerSaloon.com and sign up. Hey, hey, assistant coach. How are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports. And welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. We are currently sitting in first place with 64 points. Inter, nine points behind us. So we do have kind of a good cushion between us and Inter. So let's see what we can do in this episode. If you guys would smash 1,000 likes, I would really appreciate that. That would be amazing, assistant coaches. And I have read through the comments and you guys have said that I've basically bought the whole PSG team and I have to say I just realized it like honestly I just realized it Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, Aurier, Verratti, Ibrahimovic I seriously never realized that I bought so many players from PSG but thank you guys so much for telling me and also thank you guys for telling me that uh, once again I had this uh, back in the day when we started this career mode that the number three and the number six are retired for AC Milan and yeah we're changing them right now Verratti will get the number 77 because I just couldn't figure out any other number for him so if you guys have a suggestion for a number that Verratti could have which no one else in the team has please let me know in the comments down below but today boys we are playing insanely important matches let me tell you that this one is in the league against Sassuolo and we will start off with the perfect starting lineup which includes of course Zlatan Ibrahimovic and we are playing against a really good team who have lost one of their best players called Berardi who is now playing for us and they have Zaza in the striking position who definitely will be a threat for our defense Serge Aurier and Thiago Silva in the center back position they will try their best to hold him off and a lot of people have still talked about the issue that Serge Aurier is playing in the centre-back position. Guys, he is doing a great job for me in that position. And Marquinhos, yes, I know he's a centre-back, but I enjoy him on the right-hand side. So please, let me play him the way I want to, all right? As you can see right here, we started off with a long shot. And after that, we tried it once again. And Zlatan could have scored the goal of the season with that one. Could have been an amazing goal. And Zlatan, let me tell you that, will be very present in this episode. Douglas Costa now cuts inside after the pass off Zlatan. And then the shot gets saved from the goalkeeper, Jorginho, now with the pass to Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa does see Zlatan. What an amazing pass that is. And it is a goal as well. 1-0. But let me tell you that, that might have been the pass of the season with the outside of the foot from Douglas Costa. What a pass, man. Two defenders not able to catch up to it. And Ibrahimovic, obviously the perfect finisher he is. He will get that one in the back of the net. And now Neymar trying to skill and score. But sadly, that didn't work out. Douglas Costa now crossing it in once again. But the goalkeeper gets to the header of Ibrahimovic. Now it's our opponents on the attack trying to get that equalizer. They will be in the penalty area for a long time. And we do concede. Man, that really sucked because we were doing so well in this match. And I definitely don't think that we deserved conceding. But after conceding, Sassuolo came up with a few more chances. Zlatan now with the skills, getting past one player, has a lot of space. But the goalkeeper once again is lucky that the shot just landed straight on him. Now Roberto Firmino looking for a place to pass it to. And Neymar is through. Could he score this? Nah, not happening once again. Another shot that lands right on the goalkeeper. Berardi, me cookies or my cookies and Sharavi joining into the game in order to get that one goal. Yes, we subbed off Ibrahimovic, Neymar and Douglas Costa. All the forwards that we had in this team are now refreshed. And that is an amazing pass over into the middle. And Firmino does see my cookies who scores it. And it's 2-1. This might have been the winner in this match. And let me tell you one thing. Yes, it is going to be the winner. My Cookie scoring that crucial goal 
in the 81st minute and what a nice passing play that was from our team and we do get the three points that we actually deserved my cookie is coming in once again and scoring the goal we do get 4 million from the Champions League. That is always a nice thing to see. And hopefully we will be able to spend that uh, in a good fashion. And now take a look at this. We have to play against Kievo. And then boys, we have Bayern Munich in the Champions League quarterfinal. The team that I love. The team that has just seemingly sold Schweinsteiger. I could literally kill them for that because I'm a Bayern fan and I don't think that there is a better centre midfielder we could get right now. I seriously don't understand why they sell him, especially for 20 million. Yes, he's old, but he's a World Cup winning player, man. He's a World Cup winning captain even. I mean, come on. How can you sell him? I don't even know. Was he captain? I'm not sure. But he's a World Cup winning player and he's just amazing and he will not be able to find a player like that again by Munich. That, in my opinion, was a mistake and that could cost us a lot in the next season, especially against teams like Wolfsburg, Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen who are looking to get a really good season in. And Bayern Munich will be coming up with this team though. And Schweinsteiger in the game is still playing for them alongside Götze. Who as you know is always able to score against me or get an assist. But they do also have Sergio Aguero. But we do start off in the 15th minute with Zlatan Ibrahimovic with the free kick. And it's 1-0 already. What a goal that is. I mean the goalkeeper should have definitely gotten to that one. But what a goal from Zlatan from 32 yards out. And that's just a perfect start into the first leg of the quarterfinals against arguably one of the best teams in the world. Now Willian with the pass to Douglas Costa. The defender is not able to get to him. Zlatan with the skills and the dribbling. And he scores once again. Zlatan just says no to Bayern Munich and scores two goals straight away in this match 30th minute i mean look at the dribbling great job from zlatan and perfect finish with his weak foot five goals in the champions league already and we are just in the quarterfinals there is still a long way to go so he could score a few more Right here, Bayern Munich did have a big chance, but Diego Lopez in the end uh, grabs it. And uh, we are now on the attack with Neymar. Neymar on the left-hand side will cross it in for Zlatan. Looking for the hat-trick at this point. And he just is playing on such a high level in the Champions League, especially Götze now with the pass to Kun. And Aguero with the shot, but Diego Lopez showing once again why he is the goalkeeper that I praise a lot. And Kovacic just now joined in for Schweinsteiger for Bayern Munich. And they do have a corner kick. And Diego Lopez once again, man, this guy is just unstoppable. He's not able uh, to concede at this point. And we are making some changes. Zlatan going out, he did his job. And now we are looking to score a few more goals with Berardi and Mastur joining in. Mastur now trying to run away from Alaba. And his shot will just land on Handanovic, which is another thing that I find kind of funny. Handanovic playing, but Neuer is not playing. What the hell is wrong with this team? But we have won it 2-0, even though Bayern Munich, in my opinion, do have an amazing team. They could have easily scored a goal with Robin or even Ribery or even Götze who always scores against me but Ibrahimovic was the man of the match in that one and we got into a new month which means Emilius My Cookies is now going up to 77, Mastur 77, Berardi 80 rated, nothing changed right there. But Mustachio, I believe, did grow by plus one if I'm not mistaken. He's now an 86 rated player, he's back from his injury and he's now once again always in the starting lineup. After the Champions League game, we simmed the game against Empoli and we lost it. Which really surprised me. I thought at least we could get a draw. But we simmed that game even though it was an away game. Because I wanted to get the second Champions League match against Bayern Munich in this episode as well. You can see that Manchester City did win. They are through to the next round. And the same with Juventus. Real Madrid and Barcelona are battling it out in the other quarterfinal game. And now it was time for us to beat FC Bayern for one last time and trust me I was hyped 
for this match, especially because I had such an advantage after that win at home. I thought to myself, hey, this one will definitely be a lot easier. I just have to defend properly and let's see if I was able to do that. They are playing with the same starting lineup, I believe, but they do start off with a chance and Schweinsteiger not able to hold on to it, but we do lose it once again. Rafinha with the shot. And Diego Lopez trying to get his hands on that one. Douglas Costa now with the skills gets past Alaba who drops down. Douglas Costa with the cross inside and Slatan with the power header. But the goalkeeper Handanovic is able to get his hands on that one. Philip Nam now on the ball. Nice dribbling from him. Passing it over to Ribery. And what a mistake in the defense. Aguero, at least like two mistakes in like three seconds in the defense and that was definitely my fault. I should have cleared it right when my player was having the ball so, so close to... What? Like, what? 2-0? What the hell is going on? Bayern Munich already caught up. We are now basically even. But the only advantage that we have right now, we have... 45 more minutes to go and we only need one goal and we are through to the next round and Bayern Munich were pressing man they did know that they needed at least two more goals in order to be through even though if we score one more now Roberto Firmino with the pass to Douglas Costa is this it no it's not the goalkeeper once again Getting to it. Great job from him. Handanovic. Really good right there. But Douglas Costa gets into the penalty area and shoots from a bit of a distance. And Handanovic doing his job. And this time it is a pass over to the left hand side. Not Douglas Costa. It is going to be Neymar with the skills and the space to pass it to Firmino. And what a miss that is. We need this one goal. We definitely need that one more goal. In order to get to the next round of the Champions League, Bayern Munich are just getting tougher and tougher because they are now subbing in Cavani, who I hate. He always scores against me, or at least does really well. Cavani now on the ball, passing it over to Kovacic. Kovacic with the cross inside. Aguero scores, but it's an offside in the 90th minute. They scored, and it was an offside. How lucky can we get in that position? I mean... I thought I, it was done. I really thought it was done. Now, we are on the attack with Douglas Costa. Passing it over to the left-hand side. Neymar is through. If he scores this one, we are through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And we have done it, boys. Neymar scoring the crucial goal in this one. Another amazing moment in this episode. Great job from Neymar. But Bayern Munich, we're not giving up. This team is just fighting till the end. They were trying so hard to go ahead and score two more goals. They had like 10 minutes to go. A corner kick coming in at this point. It will land right in front of Ribery. Who shoots, but it gets deflected off Diego Lopez. And it is a corner kick once again. But Thiago Silva with a mistake. Benatia, the center back, shoots. It hits the crossbar. But then it's Robin who gets to it. And it's 3-1. If Bayern score one more, they are through to the next round. But thank God, assistant coaches, we were able to hold on to this. It is the 120th minute as the referee blows his whistle. And it's done. We are through to the semi-finals after beating one of the toughest teams in the Champions League. But it wasn't easy. Bayern Munich stepped up big time. At the end of this, I mean, not only at the end of that match, especially in the second match, the whole match, they were doing a great job, but we only needed that one goal, and we got it. That away goal was so crucial, and we were able to beat Bayern, and we do get five more million added into our budget. This was an incredible episode. Like, honestly, when I was playing it, I had so much fun. Hopefully, you guys had fun watching this. We are winning against Atalanta with Milan, Berardi, Al Shalavi, and Roberto Firmino scoring. We played against them with our reserves team. And currently, we are sitting in first place of the league with 12 points ahead of our rivals and Juventus. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button. Let's get over 1,000 likes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace.